Welcome back to 2230, where we delve into pressing issues shaping our society. Today, we're dissecting the contentious topic of non-compete clauses, a hot-button issue ignited by Associate Professor Jameis Lim, Workers' Party Member of Parliament for Sengkang GRC. Associate Professor Lim, in a recent Facebook post, illuminated the concerning effects of non-compete clauses, particularly for mid-level employees. He passionately advocated for governmental intervention, urging clarity or outright bans to protect workers' rights. Let's unravel the layers of this debate. Associate Professor Lim, drawing from his sister's job-hopping experiences, highlighted the evolving attitudes towards job loyalty, especially among millennials. He eloquently portrayed job mobility as a catalyst for professional growth and economic dynamism, emphasizing its positive impact on labor market efficiency and productivity. However, he didn't shy away from acknowledging the flip side. Non-compete clauses, while ostensibly protecting a company's interests, can stifle employee bargaining power and suppress wages. Associate Professor Lim underscored their detrimental impact on middle and lower-level employees, who often lack critical trade secrets and resources to navigate transitional periods. Associate Professor Lim's call for governmental action resonated strongly. However, Singapore's Manpower Ministry, represented by Minister Tan Si Lang, opted for a different path. Rather than imposing sweeping regulations, Dr. Ten revealed plans to unveil guidelines on non-compete clauses in the second half of 2024. In a parliamentary session, Dr. Ten defended this approach, citing existing civil court principles and emphasizing the importance of balanced negotiations. He acknowledged concerns about mid-level employees but cautioned against a one-size-fits-all policy, advocating for nuanced solutions tailored to different employment contexts. The divergence in viewpoints between Associate Professor Lim and Dr. Ten encapsulates the complexity of the issue. While Associate Professor Lim champions robust protection for workers, Dr. Ten advocates for a balanced approach, prioritizing flexibility and negotiation. So, what's your take on this debate? Should non-compete clauses be strictly regulated or left to negotiation? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking discussions. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged. This is 2230, signing off.